Hello everybody, this is Miles Luigi. Welcome you back to Let's Play Mario Gives Up 2. Last time we took took a look at Hint 1 and it told us to go back to the Ruined Ruins and enter into a secret pipe. I don't know about you, but I don't kind of want my overworld theme back, so I'm kind of curious. That brought it back. There we go. Well, not that it lasted very long. Uh, don't I need a Yoshi for this bullsh- Gosh darn it all! Hmm. Well, I was going to go get that secret, but first, we have to go get yet another Yoshi. Well, I guess we're not going to go to the ruined ruins quite yet, or are we? I could have Mario go through Football Sunday again. You might be thinking, Miles, why the hell would you go through Football Sunday again? Well, through what is either a case of ironic cognition or something, I have been told by at least half a dozen people, if not a dozen, that I don't know what the hell I'm doing and I just need to bring a Koopa shell or a cape to there. That's... Yeah, it's right here. Okay. Yes, people! This is what you told me to do. <sighs> you see, this is a case where if I saw that block all by itself, without the brown block underneath it, I probably would have figured it out by myself, but that stupid little brown block underneath that, was it's best described as a red herring, and it made me think I needed to do something different than what was the actual solution to the problem. Uh, oh, actually, I don't feel like going through this stupid water area again. I could get another red Yoshi, but eh. This actually gives me back to Luigi. Oh, sweet, that was actually a worthwhile thing to do then. Yes! Alright, so I got this Yoshi that I'm going to dump right away going into the ruined ruins to find the secret exit. We have made it to the ruins, now we have specifically have to find the uh, landmark in question that will take us to our destination. And admittedly, I didn't pay too close attention, I think it's near here, no. Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> Just press down at every pole, and we'll eventually make it. It's it's either near the beginning or the end was the way I was thinking, oh gosh, oh gosh, oh, yeah, there we go, I win. It's not going to be there, I think it's here? Yeah, there we go, that looked really familiar. And we are in a temple of some kind, a lost temple of some kind. It looks like Koopa football players and some uh, <laughs> Buzzy Beetles found their way into here. I'd prefer not to die. Now, last I checked, Luigi, you had, like, night vision. Couldn't you, like, activate your night vision? Or was the night vision just an effect of the mushroom? Oh, gosh, it's getting darker in here as I progress. Gosh, this screen is gonna... Gotta get to the exit! Gotta go fast, gotta go fast. I can't see a darn... Thing. And chances are when this encodes on YouTube, you probably can't see a damn thing. Fun fact about YouTube is the way the video is encoded, any black value that is between 0 and 15, or any white value that is between 241 and 255, gets turned completely into whiteness or blackness for the sake of compression. I'm willing to bet you most of the blacks there were darker than black 15, so that was almost probably, almost definitely, nothing but a black screen. I'm not entirely certain. There's a little video mumbo jumbo for you everyone as we go ahead and enter the liney junk level so oh uh, what's gonna clever name cipher I, I don't know the really dumb names worked a little bit better in the first mario gives up but they're just not working as well i wonder if it's just a lack of creativity on the names or what as i just took a buzz saw to the face but you know you could have called this a canyon for example where we could see further on what's happening could have made a joke about the buzz saws like buzz saws run amok <laughs> That would actually, even though that would have been like a joke title, Buzz Saws Run Amok, I think that would have actually been a better title, because they have run amok and they have killed Mario! What have they done? What have they done? That Buzz Saw will now go on trial for the murder of Mario. <laughs> and you don't think you'd do it? Mushroom Kingdom economy is flourishing! There are so many lawyers out there who are making lots of money suing and litigating right now. Well, let's get back. Alright, I'm curious if a down below, yeah, holy crap, a down below strategy just work better, but you can't make the next jump. Ba, 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 ba. Alright, so I have to go up above or. Ah! Damn you! Alright, here, follow the logic with Miles Luigi. If being hit is inevitable, just be big. That way you can take the hit. Ha ha! Ah! Why did I press left? Ha! Ah! Oh my gosh! I gotta do that again! Oh, 
Oh sweet, I wasn't hit this time, now jump! I hit the same stage, fucked it out of it, it's like, no, oh, screw this! I'm not going back, hey, there's a key down there, oh, wonderful, that's great to know, that means I'm going to go through that section again! Maybe I should go to the plumbing level and <laughs> grab a feather, just cheese the entire line guide area, that ought to be a good idea if you ask me. If anything, that might be how you have to get the key, because it looks like you might have to get underneath the platform, and unless there's a pipe, yeah, underneath this platform. Seems like the easiest way to do... Actually, a Yoshi would be the easiest way to do this, although you have that line guide segment, and it'd be really difficult to get Yoshi through. Well, we have a puzzle on our hands. Hopefully this isn't one of those really, really stupid things where everyone is yelling at their screen right now, going, Miles, would you do you missed? Really bad. Really, really, really bad. Quit paying attention to the red herrings. It's red herring, I swear it was. You know, there was one episode where it was actually red herring. Up name Scooby Doo jokes. Alright, anyway, moving on forward through the Canyon of Doom, where apparently we have a rounded Batman symbol in the line guides. I don't know why, but my attention whenever we're on a line guide ride, because what I've seen from a lot of line guide rides and a lot of ROM hacks is, you know, the ROM hacker tries to spiff it up a little bit, make it look more interesting. And thank you for doing that, by the way, because it makes me think more than, oh, I'm on a line guide. It makes me now pay attention to our scenery at hand, which actually, kind of way, kind of serves as a distractor. Hell, me talking and playing at the same time serves as a distractor. <laughs> Need to concentrate. <laughs> it's like the difference between playing baseball and playing golf. When you're playing golf, everyone's expected to be quiet, and the person's expected to be able to concentrate, but whenever you're playing baseball, ROARING FANS ALL OVER THE PLACE! Ah! You know, stuff like that. Especially once the ball is sitting there like, ah! Especially if you know it's a big hit and has a possibility of being a home runner or grand scram. And it's like home runner grand scram. Ah! And people fighting all over the ball and... Yeah. It's funny that I use baseball as an example. It's usually football. Not only is a more violent sport. Ah! I died, and now that quit my awesome dialogue I was making. Insert funny, aggressive sentence here. Preferably something that's not ah right here. Okay, three, two, one. Gosh, darn it, you little pile of golden delicious. Alright, I died here to fuzzy stupidity, and here I am taking a hit due to fuzzy stupidity. I'm not even going to try to go after the mushroom. The mushroom could have saved your life! Goodness gracious, look at this line guide pattern! He's probably going to come back one more time, and it looks like we're in the clear from everything that isn't the Koopa Troop, but holy crud! How'd you- oh gosh, now another saw blade. Saw blade of death! Ah! Okay, Miles Lady. No more screaming, no more screaming, no more screaming. Okay, insert funny quotes in 3, 2, 1. That death was so invinegrating and energizing, it busted my dynec- Gosh darn it, I have to quit looking at the thing on my desks for screams and anger and anguish. Uh, it's funny, Golden Delicious is a blind big My Little Pony. <laughs> Fun fact for everyone. Let me just go back to screaming. <laughs> Darn it all! Darn it all! Darn it all! <sighs> Five, three, oh. Uh let's not read that actually. Alright, new strategy here. Start the platform moving, stay on here because it's a hell of a lot more safe than with the fuzzies. Tell about here, don't ah! Why? No! Stupid gosh darn fuzzies now have to navigate the gosh darn saw blade of pitted death flower pattern. Oh my gosh! Wow! Okay, we even have a question mark block in reserve in case we want to attempt to jump back, although I don't think I'm going to have the time to pull that off. Okay, no, not happening. Having power up in the next area! Yeah! Well, 
Great, I expend that power up immediately. Alright, so there's only one more saw blade left. And provided you don't get anxious, and you just assess the sit. Oh gosh darn it, bullets. Actually, they might potentially help me, but I don't know. I want a bullet generator going off at the same time. Alright, no, oh, that's why I didn't want a bullet generator going off at the same time! No, 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 Just lawn? Damn it, damn it all. No, I don't. Oh. Oh. Well, I've already yelled, ah. Alright, before moving on, assess the situation. Oh, sweet, 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 sweet. Something just wonderful happened. One of the fuzzies didn't spawn. Oh my gosh, alright. Oh no, spawned. Um, screen! Move, move, move. Do some things for platform disappeared miles luigi well uh, <laughs> um that's not good how do i get it back um well dang did i just screw myself over yeah okay good this is, hey, you're back all right we're not going to start the platform yet i want that fuzzy to spawn now that i see it is a possibility so we're going to scroll scroll screen shenanigans oh they're still there all right how do i get you to de despawn did you despawn early because there are too many damn things on the screen Oh, just knowing it's a possibility, it's making my mouth salivate, I'm like, oh, a solution to this problem. Find the safe zones, that's what's going on in my mind. Find the safe zones, there are no damn safe zones, goodness gracious, oh! Okay, I've already used A, I've already used B, so... <laughs> There's C. Alright, alright, despawn, despawn, despawn. Damn it, didn't despawn. <sighs> wow, Mario almost fell off. Alright, how in the world can I get you to despawn here? Because let's let's actually analyze this situation. Unless he despawn now, go, go, go. Oh, damn, he didn't despawn. Uh, damn it, I can't analyze the situation because they aren't fully on screen. There are no goddamn safe zones! Okay, well, thank goodness we're past there, and this is remotely possible. Provided, okay, let's not get the bullet generator going. Watch out for the Koopa. <laughs> Last thing I need to do is die to the Koopa. Just remember, there's a third one coming, and he's all by himself. He's the only thing you have to manage. Why don't you just spin jump on the asshole? Or duck, 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 duck. Now, unless there's more obstacles, you got this. Um, there is more obstacles, like you. Uh, how in the world do I not die to the saw blade and then die to the chomper? Well, it's D's turn. No! Please despawn, please despawn. You, of course, I get. I basically get a holy gift from Almighty God, and now I don't have it anymore. Okay. I'm gonna do something different. I'm just gonna flat out take the hit. That way I can get my power up much more easily. There, okay. <laughs> this is going back to the hit is inevitable, just work around it theory. Alright. And hell, the Koopa didn't respawn. And we're actually in decent shape. Let's not get that bullet generator going off. I'm just wonder if I could have screen scrolled this thing away. <laughs> oh, okay. Duck, duck, duck. Alright. Uh -huh. Don't fall off. You know how ironic cognition works, right, Miles Luigi? Alright, we hit the on switch, and there is more level. Okay, you Koopa need to die, because the last thing I need to have happen is to me to die to you. Alright, duck below, because there is a safe zone. Oh, hallelujah! Oh, hallelujah! Hallelujah, hallelujah! Yes, I will give a care of this to three! That's exactly how much I needed for a hundred. <laughs> Victory! I don't have to scream out E quite yet, because that would probably sound really annoying. Because, you know, E! Oh, let's not derp the bonus game really horribly la- That was a bad jump. Oh, I made something out of it. Okay. I lost- I completely- Okay, regain. Focus. Alright, Miles Luigi. Activate that focus scale. Plus 10 crit when no allies are within 3 spaces. Alright, go, go, go. Alright. We're doing good. Then, oof, whew, that was a close one. All right, can we finish this bad boy off? Not full jump. Okay, good. All right, do we have another situation like that where I can't give a full jump? Ah, right there. Ah, how close am I? I can't even screen the scroll. Screen the scroll. Scroll the screen. <laughs> screen the scroll. Scroll the screen. When I have close 
course clear appeared. Oh boy, so Mario actually managed to find the blue switch thingy, plus there's that secret exit. It's funny enough, at the beginning of that level, you know, if we were to use different stages here, it would be like the beginning of the level is difficult and the end of the level is nightmare. It's like the difference between Hurt Me Plenty and Nightmare. Also, because I never got to the point, who the hell names their pony child golden delicious that's just asking for an ursa miner to eat them uh next time luigi you should have really brought your night vision goggles because we're gonna go into hey it's dark and mario's gonna flip or hit a switch pal so this has been miles luigi see you all next time Thank <laughs> you.